walks and runs, and he is on one right now. Yeah, and you've got to ride these streaks as long as you possibly can, and he's doing that coming in right here. Came into this game on fire with the stick, and he's doing that here. That's now two hits so far for him in this one. In now, Jorge Posada. And he puts it on the ground to second. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. Dan, you know what? You like to see that from an offense. When you have a guy in scoring position, there's no sense in waiting around. He saw a pitch he liked right there, and he went after it. He, he did, d -Row, and I think that's what most hitters do. They come up with guys on base that they can potentially drive in. They're looking for a pitch to hit, and he didn't wait around and got that bad head started. Runner goes. Now a drive by Judge. Deep left field. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. Hector Rondon enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Hector Rondon. Here's Didi Gregorius. Hard liner to center field. Springer is right there, one down. Digging in now, Cal Ripken. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0 and 1. Now the Astros are going to get a left hander up and cranking out in the bullpen. Drilled right back up the middle. And that gets through for a one out base hit. Number nine batter comes through that time as it'll now be up to the top of the order with one away. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. The relay throw, and he is in there with an RBI triple. Whatever these guys had for their pregame meals, they need to eat it before every game. They've been tearing it up this inning, and that triple is just one in a long line of solid hits. That's seven runs that have come home here, and they're not done yet. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Four hits already in this one, and looking for number five here. Line towards center field. Springer is there, and that should be deep enough to score the run. The relay, and they get the double play at third. But a big inning here is seven runs cross the plate, and this lead grows even wider. Leading off for the Astros. Tyler White will bat next. He'll get things started now in the bottom of inning number eight. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0-1. If you're going to catch up to a high fastball like that, it's all about getting that front foot down in enough time to allow your hands to start moving forward. He was way too late there. Oh. Missed with a slider. Back to back sliders away. Now I think you have to think about running something hard in. Not a good idea to throw a good hitter the same pitch three times in a row. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Tyler White becomes the first out in the bottom of the eighth inning. First pitch on its way. Right over the middle, knee high. He's set. Here's the 0 1. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. A pause and the 0 2. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, but it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. Reddick waiting, and now the pitch takes a knee high fastball. Hey, that's another nice two seamer right there. He's been able to manipulate that pitch all game, keeping it at the hollow of the knee. Getting a lot of ground balls and a lot of swing and miss. 0 oh and 2, here it comes. Fouled off. Hey, I don't mind you throwing a fastball in this situation, but I think, if we're being honest with ourselves, that one caught a little bit too much of the plate. Reddick behind a ball and two strikes. And my goodness, how about this? He struck out the side in back to back innings. Six in a row, and the inning is over. Astro.
Yeah, beautiful look there at the downtown aquarium here in Houston as we welcome you back to baseball on the show. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Jeff Bagwell. He scored after tripling in his first plate appearance. What's he got in store for us here? Drives it out to deep right center field. Reddick looks up. Gone to lead off the inning. Now batting, center fielder. Tony Into the box now, Gwynn. Tony Gwynn. Now this one is blasted to left field, and there's no doubt about it. Back to back jacks. Stepping in now, Gary Sanchez as he drives a liner to right center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Boy, there's another opposite base hit right there, Dero. It's He's turning up April showers into May Fowlers right now. <laughs> there's no doubt about it. This guy has gotten off to a hot start, but it's his ability to use the whole field. That's what's made the difference. He's not belted high and deep into right center. Back goes Springer on the warning track. He makes the catch. Here's big Aaron Judge. He's been scorching hot at the plate in this one. Four hits, including a big fly thus far. Rondon's ready. Here comes the first pitch. Drilled on the ground is short. A dive, and he knocks it down. And not really much of a chance to recover there as he'll reach first on what undoubtedly will be scored as an infield single. Riding in once again, Didi Gregorius. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. And a double steal try here. Hard hit ball to second. Throw in time at first for route number two. Digging in to try it again. Cal Ripken. He reached on a single in his first try. From the stretch. Hit sharply on the ground. And that is through into center field. A base hit. And the second run will score as well. Dan, from a pitcher's standpoint, that's a backbreaker. Two out, two RBI base hit right there. Awfully frustrating. You're trying to make some good pitches, you get two outs, and all of a sudden you give up that big base hit that drives into frustrating for a pitcher. Hard hit ball to second, but the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. Ripken rounds third and is digging for the plate. And he's safe at the plate as they extend their lead even further. Even though that pitcher was able to execute in off the plate, batter was able to keep his hands inside that baseball and drive it up the middle. Joe Smith comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Back up the middle. And how about that right out of the bullpen? A ground ball on one pitch. Ronald Ture is the next to bat. He'll lead things off against the same reliever that finished off the last inning. Well, you don't see in this day too many relievers going multiple innings, but guys have to earn that trust from their managers. We'll see how he handles it here. Objective number one right here is finding a way to get on base, so I'm not surprised to see him taking on the first pitch there. Here's Carlos Correa now. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Gwynn moves over and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Here's George Springer. Springer. Here comes the first pitch. First pitch fastball in on the fists for ball one. Boy, they've been just getting shut down right here. Been a while since they even had a runner on. So I think it's time to start looking for ways to make some things happen. Drop a bunt, get up on the plate, something. One ball and two strikes to count. Last strike now for Houston. Two out, nobody on. Into the corner and slicing foul. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Man, they've already put the all-time winning streak record in their rearview mirrors. But with every win, it gets further and further away. 
We could say this now. This is one of the greatest teams in the history of baseball.